Hey guys, so today's video is going to be another recipe video. As a disclaimer for this video, you can add more, you can eat less, you can do whatever you want. These are just recipe suggestions. You don't have to eat anything that you don't want to eat or you can substitute or swap anything out. Anyway, let's get started with the recipes. To make these pancakes, you're going to need a fourth of a cup of applesauce and then two tablespoons of maple syrup. You could also use honey or agave, whatever you would like to sweeten it up. And then you want to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and then one cup of almond milk or coconut milk, any type of milk that you want to add in. I like almond milk. Then add in two teaspoons of baking powder. This is what's going to make your pancakes nice and fluffy. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon. I love adding cinnamon to pancakes the best. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt to bring in all the flavor and then a fourth of a cup of almond meal. Now you just want to mix all of your ingredients together and then heat up your pan on about a medium to high heat. I actually melted some dark chocolate and then I poured it out into little circles and then I froze these little circles in the freezer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them in between the layer of batter. So this is completely optional. If you want to have a little bit of dark chocolate with your pancakes, you can totally not add the chocolate. You could use any type of chocolate that you want. You could do stevia sweetened or vegan or dairy free or anything like that. This is completely optional. You can just obviously top it with fruit and keep it simple. But um, those are the little pancakes. Oh, never show Next, we're going to be making one of my favorites, which is an acai bowl. This is so refreshing for summer. We're going to start out with half of a banana and then one cup of coconut water. Then you're going to add in two packets of acai. Now, this is really going to make it um, just thick and creamy. The words spill from your mouth. As you can see, <laughs> I'm not editing it out, that it just literally fell over into the bowl. Um, it's very creamy, but it's thick at the same time. So now you can top this with whatever you want. You can do coconut flakes, you can do granola, you can do fruit, bananas, um, honey, agave, anything that you want. You can get so creative with this. Um, I just did a little bit of coconut, a little bit of granola, and a little bit of banana, and it's delicious. So so I'm going to show you how to make this amazingly fun breakfast. This is just fun. So you're going to start out with one whole banana and then you want to cut it down the middle. I'm using coconut yogurt and I'm going to fill up the middle of our little banana boat and then you can top it with fruit or whatever you would like to top it with. I'm going to do frozen raspberries, a little tiny bit of granola, and just a small little drizzle of honey. And this is so yummy. It's like a banana split but for breakfast and it's delicious. So show you is one of my favorite recipes. You're going to need 16 ounces of strawberries or you could just do two cups. You want to add them into your food processor. Then you want to add in three tablespoons of chia seeds and these are going to act as kind of the thickening ingredient in our little chia jam. Next you want to add in two tablespoons of sweetener and then lastly I'm just going to add a little squeeze of lemon and then we are going to pulse this all together. You want to put it in the refrigerator for two to four hours and then you can spread it on your toast. This is just so delicious. It's not filled with a ton of sugar like from the grocery store and this is just such a fun summer recipe if you like that video don't forget to click subscribe you can click this button right here to subscribe to my channel if you like the video and you want to see more videos I've had people be like I've been watching you for four years and I have never subscribed I'm like girl you gotta subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more recipe videos you can also leave a comment below I love to hear your feedback I want to say thank you for watching this video if you like this video you can click thumbs up but other than that I'm gonna go I'll see you in my next video let me know any other videos you want to see in the comments and I will see you in my next video bye